And we are pleased to have Senator John Tester joining us here live tonight on our statewide newscast at 9. Senator Tester, most of us would prefer we just get this election out of the way. <laughs> just get, get it over with. This is your third election cycle, each one pretty nasty. Would you say the nastiness in this one even surprises you? Well, I mean, it, it sure has, uh, looks like it's pretty personal, but the truth is, is that, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're a ways away from the election we have with Conrad Burns and a ways away from the election we have with Dennis Reberg. Uh, you know, they were tough at the time. This is tough at this time. This too will pass. Uh, but in the meantime, it, it is a bit painful. Now, Senator, our network has covered all three of President Trump's rallies in Montana. Yeah. Uh, you know, full-blown coverage. You've been the main target of those rallies, so I'm wondering, How's that feel? It's got to be tough every time you turn on, uh, uh, turn around, and the president is attacking you personally. Well, there's a couple things. First of all, um, we put about 20 bills on his desk. Uh, I've worked hard in a bipartisan way to do that. In his rallies, he's touted a lot of those bills that I put forth, so I appreciate that. And then the other side is we don't get a president that comes to Montana much, and this president's been here three times in the last. Uh, you know, since July, I think that's a good sign, and and I, I wish uh, I wish that he had the opportunity to take a look at some of the challenges we have in the state because we have a bunch infrastructure challenges. He, when he was in Missoula a week or so ago, he could have went over to the VA clinic. It's undersized. Could have taken a look at that, uh, which could help uh, with decision making moving forward. But uh, anytime a president of the United States wants to come to the greatest state in the union, he's always welcome. Let's talk about the news of this week. The uh, discovery of pipe bombs being sent to top Democrats across the country who have spoken out against President Trump. Now, both parties have retreated to their partisan corners, blaming each other. What's your take on that? There's no room for this. Um, look, I, I serve with good people on both sides of the aisle. All these folks, uh, public service is part of who they are. And uh, when you have pipe bombs going to anybody, I don't care what party they're from, I don't care what state they're from, it's unacceptable. And I really hope that uh, law enforcement finds who did this. They've got some material to work with, and I'm hopeful that they can find who, who uh, did this and, and hold he or she to the full extent uh, of the punishment the law needs to put on them. No coincidence, you believe this is happening right a week and a half, 11 days before the election. Some people believe it's a, a conspiracy. It's not. A, it's well, a, look, I mean, uh, pipe bombs are serious business, and I don't care when it happens. It's just serious business, and everybody should condemn it, and we should do our level best to find out who's behind it, because uh, it's just not acceptable. It's just flat not acceptable. Finally, you've seen our poll. You've seen the other poll, the MSUB poll is out this mm -hmm. week. Still too close for comfort. Mm -hmm. How are you sleeping these days? <laughs> uh, we're always sleeping good. Look, I've, I've got a good record. We'll go back on it. I will tell you that some of the commercials, I find new stuff about myself when I look at those commercials. But but the bottom line is, is that uh, uh, we've, we've, we've done some good work. I think the people of Montana know that, and I feel good about the election. No regrets? No regrets about the handling of the Ronnie Jackson nomination? No, we, we did our job. Advice and consent is one of the most important jobs we have to do. We ask questions. We just wanted answers. Senator, thank you so much for uh, taking time to join us here on our statewide news. You bet. We'll talk to you again on election night, I'm sure. Thank you.